Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign. Of course, playing with a special Polish mod called History Lies in Our Hands. Now, this is inspired because, I don't know, I was watching Alex the Rambler play this mod. I'm like, you know what? I've never played super well as Poland before. I have once, but uh, it's, I usually don't play Poland. I'll let you know right now. It's just going to be random, completely random. I have no idea what's going to happen. At least for the other nations, but let's just go ahead and begin playing as the Polish nation. So, like I said, uh, I saw Alex Rambler play this play this mod. Looks kind of cool. I don't know how long the mod's been out, but you know what? I decided why don't we just give it a little bit of a try? So let's do do some normal stuff, uh, basic machine tools, construction stuff. How about we go with mechanical or electronic and mechanical engineering? Uh, furthermore, we have a couple new focuses for Poland, which is a long focus, and then some other stuff over here, too. So, uh, what do we want to do first? Now, I think you went down this path, which I kind of want to do the same, just because I like the guy you get, Piotr Chinsky, or Chink, I, I don't know how to say his name, maybe that's, maybe that's a slur, I don't know, but I do like creating my own faction, and I like the division attack and defense, I want to feel overpowered. I want to feel like an overpowered Polish person. Also, we will go to war with Lithuania and Latvia soon, and we can't do that yet, so we need to do state reforms first. So, state reforms. Poland is currently surrounded by hostile neighbors. The only way to improve this situation is to introduce new reforms, and we get a whopping 150 political power. So much. So much. Let's go and build some civilian, civilian factories. Not too close to the German border. Let's do it like that. We're going to need quite a few guns. I want some artillery pieces. That looks pretty good. Go need a little bit more. Put some there. We got some fighters. That's pretty good. Anti-air. That's pretty nice. But that's okay. Scrap that. Scrap that. Make these. Thank you. And put, plop them in Danzig. Let's go ahead and let time go on first while we reorganize our navy, which, well, it exists. Well, actually, it's so small, I don't have to reorganize it. So we have Filip Dobrowski. To be honest with you all, I don't speak Polish. So if I make a mistake pronouncing things, just expect it. Cool. Uh, horses, I'm going to pull you all out. I'm going to see. So, let's see. That's good. That's good. Awesome. Uh, we'll put you under Sikorsky. Oh, but he is max planning. Oh, but he's got more attack. I like the attack. I want to get aggressive assault as well, but he's not a brilliant strategist. He's an okay guy. He's just not a brilliant strategist. And you know what? I'm going to do this. We're going to take out these guys as well as the Latvians as soon as possible. I'm going to keep my cavalry off of him for now. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and plop him under someone else. Uh, put you under him because you got some max planning. Because why not? Could do that eventually. And our main infantry army will be led by Wincenti Kowalski. Hello, Wincenti. And then you, Roman Abraham. And nothing says cavalry like being led by a guy who's an armor officer. Cool. Wow. We have no guns. Or I assume they use guns. Oh, let's do that too. Upgrades low. Reinforcements high. Uh, garrisons have to be on high. I'm going to train three divisions of Polish good boys. I'm going to assume this is uh, divisions. Infantry divisions. Oh, no. Or special mountaineer divisions. Division Picholti. Oh, they got recon on them. That's nice. Brigade, cavalry brigades, I guess. Oh, oh, that's so small. That's so small. Oh, that hurts to see. That hurts to see. Now, we will need some more army XP just because I'm going to make some Coast Guard divisions. I need to make some garrison divisions eventually. But let's see what happens. I have no idea. But we do want to get as much naval XP as possible because we need to upgrade these subs because they are not super bueno. There you go. Oh, six at a time. Holy cow. That's not good. And we're already repairing some stuff. Uh, we'll get quite a bit of naval XP, so not too bad. And how long does it take for, to do our first focus? 70 days. Pretty normal. Uh, how about some plain stuff? You guys. Lower you to 100. There you go. That's pretty good. Uh, train you guys because we can. Might as well do the same here, except you guys will come up to 100 for fighters. Eventually. Eventually. Cool. Let's grab you again. Plop on a better engine. And then we'll go up. Oh, we can do this immediately. Cool. 
So actually, don't waste time with this. Let's Garbo. There you go. That's much better. And attach yourself to this. That'll be good. And we have state reforms. Now, I'd like to do all this stuff, but we have to wait until we have newcomers from the future. So, we're going to go with prepare for the next war. The Great War may have only been the first of its kind. We must prepare for what must surely be an ever-changing battlefield. And look at that political power. It's so good. I could go to partial mobilization, but do we get anything here interesting? Fascism, democracy. Those are all boring. And modifier global non-core manpower. Very cool, very cool. I need an intelligence agency. Military theorists. I want more army XP. And can we get a here more than 50% war support? More than 50%. Um, if I do partial mobilization now, that might hurt me. It's only 10% more consumer goods. Eh, whatever. Let's see what happens. That was probably a bad decision, but I do want to improve working conditions so we can get more stability. Because stability is always helpful. And I do want to reform the Commonwealth, because look at all the things we can get cores on. That looks amazing. And I want that. I really want that. Oh my goodness, look how many guns we need. Holy cow. Uh, let's go for mechanical computing. I love the research speed, but... Oh, that's not bueno. Oh, we lost a plane. That's not bueno either. But that's a price you pay for training soldiers. Or training planes, I guess. Oh. Oh, we have negative one. Mm hmm. Well, I guess you can stop training. That's fine. You need to get up to 21. There you go. Very good. And are we actually building planes? Oh, we're kind of trying to build planes. We don't have much rubber. Then again, who actually has a lot of rubber? We're making about 30 guns a day. That's pretty good. I'd love to make more, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Artillery is looking okay. I can't tell how much we're making a day unless you look at the other screen. Logistics balance low value. Hmm. Oh, we have 30. That's not bad. Oh, hold on. I did say I want to get improved working conditions, so let's go and grab that real quick for more stability, and we have basic machine tools. We're going to immediately grab Dispersed Industry because people argue whether Dispersed or Dispersed or Concentrate is better. I don't really care too much. I usually, I usually choose Dispersed just just because. Sometimes I go with Concentrate, but I usually go with Dispersed. There's a couple more benefits. Even though, you get, even though Concentrate, you get 5% more output for factory stuff, which is okay. 5% is not you know, extremely tiny, but it's not that big. And we have prepared for the next war. We have remilitarization of the Rhineland. We shall next go for an aggressive policy. So, we are so strong that we can try to regain our former areas. Yes, we are super strong. We beat the Soviets in the 1920 war. 1920s war. Sometime in the 1920s, we beat the Soviets back. And basically saved all of uh, Western Europe from communism. We're strong. We're really strong. Look at that. I like that stability. Keep making it go up, up, up. And actually, I didn't realize it, but uh, stability does affect this a little bit. Your factory output. The better your stability, the more output you can get. Ah, uh, newcomers from the future. Today in the morning. Hours. There was a fuss in the suburb of Warsaw. In the middle of the square, a five-man group of young men appeared. Like a missile from the sky, leading behind a medium-sized crater. To the police stationed, they began to tell them that they are from the future and that Poland is in great danger. Hmm. After a short conversation with the public services, they were taken to the capital to tell the government about it. That is... Something. I'm not sure, but something afoot. Reinforce rate. Let's go ahead and grab weapons and equipment because we're going to be at war relatively soon ish with a whole whopping two nations. Let's see how's this coming along. We don't have many factories. We really don't. Give me more. Give me more. And we're almost done. Five more days. We lose weekly stability of 0.5%. Daily support for underlying goes down by 0 0.01, so we basically don't even feel it. Now we have an aggressive policy, but let's go with question of Lithuania and Latvia. If we are to build a new country, we must reclaim our reception areas during the partitions. Annex Orgel, Annex Orgel, and claims all over the place. I love it. And it only takes 70 days. A fat whopping 70 days, and that's okay. Yes. Very good, very good. Uh, yeah, we really can't build this stuff without enough equipment. But then again, we need reinforcements to attack, so then we get more factories. Oh, future opposition, though. The events from a month ago are still a shock to society. Although another surprise is the revival of another group of young men, which is headed by Jan Wojtovich, who discredits Piotr 
Peter C, PC for being too totalitarian. Who are we gonna believe? I don't know. Some guy. Maybe Peter. I don't know. Until how many? Oh, they got a little bit of. Well, they had a little bit of manpower. They got it back. No, they they left again. Oh, and Spain's having an identity crisis. Beautiful. I don't think I'm gonna get myself involved because I don't really care about them. I don't think I, I can even send volunteers, can I? No, not to you, and not to you. When your world tension to be at 40%, 6%, and I'm not even allowed to send volunteers. That's okay. We don't need to send volunteers because we'll just take over people ourselves. Renewal of the Rome Protocols. Oh. What are you doing, Italy? What you doing? Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this focus tree. It's so sad. It's so sad. Austria. Germany, what are you up to? Oh, you're not going to oppose Hitler. All right, you're going to Rhineland, which makes sense. You already, we already said that. Uh, how about you guys? You guys are not doing a change of course. You're going to do a steady as she goes in home defense. Not global defense, but home defense. All right, how about you, France? Develop the colonies. It doesn't look like you're communist enough. The games are concluded. We don't know where they're going yet, and that's fine. It's only August 1936. Oh, would you look at that manpower? Manpower? Eh, manpower's okay. Political power's looking pretty good, too. And we'll be at war within a week or two. Uh, is there anyone else I'm really interested in knowing? Also, these are weird. Aren't these colors flipped normally? Usually, national Spain's a darker brown, and Republican Spain, or normal Spain, is usually a, a little lighter with, you know, a little more yellow. Hmm. Oh, well. Grab a military theorist. That'd be great. And here we go, my friends. <sighs> I love it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just go do Thrust the Young. Although we don't know much about newcomers... But aren't they doing it for a stupid joke? Less stability. Remove it. Move this bad, bad national spirit. Maybe I should have saved my political power to go to war. I don't care. I immediately go to war because we can. Because I love you. I hurt them because I love them. All right, guys. Have a good time. Uh, go crazy. I don't think they'll really be able to hold you back too much. They don't even have a commander. They're so poor, they can't even afford a commander. Oh. Oh, civilian oversight. Let's go ahead and go to local police force because we can. And like I said, I'm going to need to make some uh, alternative cavalry divisions. Good. Just come to Mimel. And I love the legs of the horses because they move them very quickly. And there goes Lithuania. Beautiful. Next up, the great place known as Latvia. You're going to spearhead straight to there if you can. Oh no, not enough manpower or guns. Whatever shall we do about resistance? Well, let's just go ahead and reform the Commonwealth. Yeah, we get a lot of cores. I don't know if this is a good thing to do. I'm going to assume it is, but let's do it. Ah, there goes resistance. And that really shouldn't even exist. The both of the Polish Commonwealth. Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Commonwealth? Commonwealth. I can't speak. My apologies. If God is with us, then who is against us? Godless communists, of course. Awesome. Uh, give our guys some time. You know, let's get a planning bonus for our guys. Let's make a re... Oh, they're getting entrenched, but more and more planning. Let's see. Oh, you guys are pretty much maxed out. You're good to go. Y'all need a few more guns, but you know what? I don't think the Latvians are too strong. I could be very, very wrong. Can I justify you? Unfortunately, we need 50%. How unfortunate. But these are our claims and core states, so naturally we honestly deserve it. Take Riga if you can. I'm not even using air support. I'm trying to save on fuel for my ships. Cool, let's get some reinforced rate for radio. And then some dispersed industry and guns. Or better guns. Uh, let's get some motorized. That'll be important for getting garrison stuff. It's 1936. What do we want to do? Better fighters. Yes. A Jas Trezab. Yes. Very good. Very good. We need a Dog of Vulpes. Yes. Yes, very much yes. Fighters, cool. Uh, I don't have a lot of you guys. But go on, come on here. Say maybe, maybe we can do a little something something. And then you guys come down here. And maybe you can do a little something, something. I don't know. They have 12 planes. I, you know, that's... Okay, never mind. They don't have 12 planes. They give us their planes, I think. 
Oh, I can't even take everything. What? Awesome. Very nice, very nice. Now, we're pretty big. Oh, we're medium sized. And Congress passes the Neutrality Act. Well, I don't care about Congress. I'm not sure what to do with my soldiers now since we won the war. Oops. Uh, did I tell you? Yeah, good. These guys are holding. Come to Warsaw. Have a good time. Have a smoke. Have a beer. You know. Or have some vodka. There you go. Have some vodka. We got 11 army XP. That's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do garrisons. Uh, leave it like that. Rename that. Take that off. We don't need that. Oh, did I not duplicate this? Oh, I did not duplicate it. I thought I duplicated it. Well, whatever. So we basically just lost 10 XP for no reason. Oh well. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I need support equipment anyways for my infantry divisions because they use recon. And that's really important. I, yeah, these cavalry divisions, they're okay. They're only 6 combat width, so... Oh well. Case of the Baltic States. This just tells you that you can liberate places. Uh, liberate both? Nah. Let's trust the young. And you know what? Let's go ahead. I do want to go down this path because it's so strong. Trust the generals. The state needs this new power. Also strong. Other candidates don't give the impression of being organized like a group of military fanatics under Piotr C. No template for toad. Oh, we have no template for toad artillery. What? Heathens. You know what, if that's the case, you guys... I could tell you guys to train, but we don't have that much infantry equipment. I do want to save as much as we possibly can right now. I don't know why I took off th those recon companies. That made no sense for me. My apologies, that was terrible. And we can trust the generals. Lose a little bit of stability. We gotta wait. Before we, before we can do this one, we can do political purge. Strong supporters of old power still goes free. Changes cannot happen when traitors are still among us. Absolutely. Absolutely. He sounds a little crazy, but he's absolutely correct. He's crazy. Mm. Yeah, I really don't want to train them. That's going to hurt me. What else can I do with this, though? Political power? Oh, look at that. Jean? 15% stability, democracy, unaligned, un national publicist. Ooh. I want that guy. Prince of Terror, I want that guy eventually, too. What's about down here, though? Japan is having an identity crisis much like... Spain. That's really good right there. This guy is ZBS. Real nice. Offense, good. Defense, that's pretty decent as well. Can't go to war economy, which is fine. You know, whatever. I love political purges. I keep training up some of that naval XP. We're going to have to garrison a lot of that. And National Spain is... Yeah, they're doing okay. They got volunteers, of course. They have Carlism, which is special. Demand ministerial positions. They have support from the Soviet Union. International Brigades, and... That's a really weird Japan. I mean, purple? Why would you choose purple? Step into the future! Today, the official opening of the animation and publishing house, Studio Jan, took place, which was funded by Jan W. During his speech at the end of construction, he said, Cartoons and comics are an important element in growing up because they develop children's imagination. I get political power by 1% and 1% more stability. Um... Comics concept. After the official opening of the studio, we have to start thinking about some of the leading series that will promote us. All right, well, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I really want to see who's winning here or what's going on. We need more manpower. How are the factories doing? <gasps> you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this. Create an agency. We want to be called uh, Dvoshka? Uh, Let's get that one. If you think there's a better name for this Polish intelligence or Polish Lithuanian intelligence, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, guns, guns, guns. Artillery. Nice, nice. Guns are coming along very nicely. Radio. Thank you very much. Happy 1937, everyone. Let's get some more construction, too. Even though probably output would be slightly better, but I love building things as fast as possible. I love build, build, building, 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 building. And political purge. New old methods. Thinking about the change, we were seeing it as cooperation between the current politicians and newcomers, but they only see one way of gaining power. Lose stability, war support, fascism, communism, democracy. 
We become very special. Garrisons, garrisons, yeah, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and grab the N-word rhyme. This is the N-word. Okay, all power given to Peter C is the only solution for our country. Long live the new regime. Yes, pretty good. Oh, and actually, comics concepts. Okay, the F Adventures of Frank Dolos, who accidentally chases the Second World War, My Little Pony, uh, Samurai Jack, what is that one? Bliali Orzet, I don't speak Polish. I like this one. Steven Universe, never watched it, Half Human, Half Crystal. Fit in the world of people, but isolated from them by crystals. Pink Sheep and Friends. Story of a title group, which always gets into trouble by Pink Sheep's fault. Close the studio. We might need to do that eventually. But let's, you know what? That sounds kind of cool. A Polish superhero who fights criminals who are trying to destroy Poland. Oh, we can do another one. Um, Let's do Frank Dolas. We'll, we'll save the pony for later. We'll save the samurai later. I mean, I think samurais are from Japan. I don't know. It's 1937 Poland. I don't know if they really know much about samurais at this time. But, you know, let's do that. Ah, an agency was created. Good. Form a department. Even though that does eat into my... Oh, second factory production, but whatever, that's fine. That's fine. This is worth it. Getting a, fa a spy, it might be worth it. It might be. Burgos. Suspend the constitution. That's always good to do. Always good. Oh, they got a little bit of manpower. You guys have more. All right. We're just kind of waiting for the anarchists to rise up. The Carlos might rise up. They might not. And they're currently doing... Oh, no, they went straight phalanges. Cool. We got better fighters and trucks. Trucks are always nice to have. Let's get some dispersed industry. No, ooh, I don't want that one. Let's grab this next. Production efficiency cap. Better fighters. That's always helpful. Motorized. That'll be very, very important. And we have the N-word. Presidency of PC. Piotr, his name. After many months of political struggle, the Poles chose Peter, who, after taking over the power, appointed himself a Polish marshal and reduced the parliamentary term. In his place, he created the cabinet of closest associates. The parliament and the senate are virtually non-existent. He announces the formation of a new government in a similar form as before. Glory for Marshall. Look at that attack. Offensive strategist. A little more organization. Less improve relations opinion. Justify world goals time goes down by 25%. And you get plus 25% political power. Oh my goodness. This is why I want to feel like a strong pole. Um, help with USSR. I don't think we need that yet. I can't focus down on this left path here, but 70 days for like a civilian factory for a single bonus isn't really worth it, especially if I want to get two research slots. That takes so long. It's not worth doing. Um, there's not, we can't do that side now, but I could do new rules, but oh my god, I gotta get that attack, defense. Even though this gives us only 1.5% recruitable population, the other side gives you 2.5%. And less attack and defense, even though it's still a boost. But I don't do old rules. So, the old authorities were going in the right direction, but after Pilsudki's death, they turned from a good road. We must restore the kingdom of Poland. Poland. Yeah, especially the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Look at that fuel. Just look at it. Now that's pretty good. And we have a formed department. Let's go ahead and grab... Government separate school? Uh, passive defense. You never know who might be operating here. And let's grab a person. Uh, infiltration risk. I like that. Christiana? Mmm. I like me Christiana. Let's do that. If we wanted to have a good time with Christiana, where would we send her? I'm thinking maybe to the Reich. That might be for the best. But then again, we might lose her if we don't do anything with her. And we need to... Start doing this. Cryptology. Reich me. Oh, look at that stability. Ooh. Oh, he's got a funny hat. Oh, they're coming. Anarchists. Ah, uh, always good. Always good. Oh, look at that. That's even cheaper now. Nice. Um, you know what? Let's do Pink Sheep and Friends next. I hope this is okay. I, I really don't know what it's going to be like. And why is Anarchist Spain, like, light purple? Hmm. That's the first time I've seen a light purple Spain. Or, you know, anarchist Spain. Old rules. Very good, very good. Keep building stuff up. You're doing great. It's 1937. 
We're going to need more divisions. Holy cow, we're going to need more divisions. Old rule. So, after the takeover by Marshal C, the political doctrine of the, of the rulers was unknown and often the views of politics were conflicting and unstable. However, the Marshal has recently called an extraordinary congress, which, according to anonymous witnesses, was supposed to be a creation of unofficial book of the rules and goals of the party. Various usual focuses were written there, such as fidelity to the party or the creation of a central control office of the Polish armament industry, but... Also somewhat unusual was the creation of the Baltic Dominance Program or writing documents for the subjugation of European countries. Such laws certainly don't make Marshal C's group or government too free, but choosing him, no one thought that it would be the rule of the people, but the individual. More stability, more support, and a lot more non-aligned. Awesome. Okay. Uh, motorized Battalion or Motorized develop Division 2. Reconciliation with opponents. Nas national factories. That's not bad. Construction speed would be pretty good. We can probably wait for that, though. Get every leader becomes politic politically connected. Regional funds. That's not bad. Let's do a new constitution. So, recently, such a big stir was as was written Constitution of 3 May, or the 3rd of May. A modern and a fair constitution will show the value of our government and nation. Very good, my friends. Oh, we got passive defense. Uh, I do want another spy, so let's keep researching more stuff in each field. Let's go with portable radios. Ah, nothing like suicide pills to make you feel good at night. Oh, look at that. Guns are looking pretty good now. So, we have enough guns. I I want to increase in size of this, but you know what? Before I forget, I'm going to change you to better. There you go. We need more support companies. That's okay. I really don't want to put anything on just yet, because we don't have enough. For infantry divisions, though, I think we have enough artillery. 12, 12 times 24 is more math than I can do in my head. I know we don't have enough for it, so I'm not going to do it yet. Oh, Mexico declared war in Mexico. Cool. Uh, you know, we'll just make a lot of divisions for now. Just make a lot of divisions. We, have the we had the guns for it. But something tells me I'm going to need a lot of guns. And when you get 20% more attack, defense... Plus 25% more attack and organization. We should be okay. We should be. Pact of Rome form and Austria joins it. Oh, oh, Hungary did that. Pact of. Wait, Hungary, you join. You know what? Okay. Um, you know what? Let's just keep spending my political power because Samurai Jack sounds really cool. What path is Hungary going? Support urbanization, interventionism. Oh, the Hindenburg Incident. A close call. Ah, oh, more division. Glorious. Now you're not even 20 combat width, which is kind of bunkers, not gonna lie. Suicide pills. Love them. Economy and civilian next. Keep making more factories. That'll be great. I'd love to have a second person there. And we have the new constitution. Next up, we should do economic acts. Peter C. Like a gift from heaven, implements plans for new economic laws that are to save the Poland. The Polish people. Oh, man, we're going to need more manpower. That is not bueno. Hmm, I'm going to need some field hospitals eventually. Oh, wait, what is this? New co Oh, my goodness, new constitution. Unity of power, separation of powers. Social regulation. Multi-party system. Agreement, majority, power of democracy. Who wants power of democracy? Uh, we're not aligned, right? Yeah, we're not aligned. We don't even have elections, so you know what? Let's have a one-party system. All right, so we have controlled markets by the authorities. Markets regulated by them. Uh, I'm not really sure. Multi-party system? We don't like that. Pass a constitution. Oh, we need to sign a draft on a bunch of stuff. So, social acceptance? We don't like that. Freedom? No. Social regulations? Yes. Unity of power sounds like fun. An atheist state? Wait, atheist state, secular state, separation of church and state. Well, I guess we'll do this one. Markets? I don't want to control them too much. Let's call it regulated. And we can pass the constitution now. We just need a little bit more political power. And... Hey, Carlos Spain, how you doing, man? How you doing? Awesome, let's go ahead and do this. And we get new constitution, which grants... What? 5% more uh, political power. We lose a few factories. 10% more stability, which is good. War support goes up by 10%. Trade deal opinion factor goes up by 25%. Justify World Goals Time goes up by 50%. Oh my goodness. Justify World Goals Times? 
Hmm. That sounds like it hurts. That really sounds like it hurts. Holy cow, 50%. That's a big old smack. To, holy cow. How much intel we got on the Germans? Oh, well, we got a little bit. Especially on the industry, it's growing at least a little bit. That's pretty good. So, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh. Oh, God. Carlism. Carlists. What did you do? That's disgusting. You just basically killed off the nationalists. Oh my goodness, that's disgusting. But you know what? Let's go and get someone else. Let's see if we do one of these. We can do one operative thing. Interrogation techniques? Sure. And, but unfortunately, my friends, that's all the time for that we have today. What have we done? We've reformed the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth with Lithuania, Latvia, whether they liked it or not. We have time travelers. We have a guy with a cool hat. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow where we become greater and have more fun with Painter. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.